Hi everybody, how are you guys doing today? This is what I got in the mail today. This is what I got in the mail today. Well, let's just see if I'm crushing on this cult box because I have not been crushing on the past one. I love coming on here literally and talking about these amazing companies that send out these monthly subscription boxes. You guys have no idea, even if I don't like the products, it is like a total joy to me to get them because of my illness. I am bedridden so many days that to get something in the mail, it's like Christmas to me. And since we don't celebrate Christmas, it's like birthdays or selling just getting a treat in the mail. And you have no idea what that does to pick up my spirits. It's like getting this wonderful, lovely surprise and I so appreciate it. But I do believe in telling the truth. And so far, I am so unimpressed with Ricky's Cult Crush because I signed up in April uh, and it was like a couple weeks into April and the story goes, you go onto their website and they're like, April box is still, get, still available, get yours today. And I was like, right on, I'm so excited. Click that button, I want it. And um, so they charged me the money never got the box. <sighs> then comes May. I get an email from them saying they're raising the price. I haven't even gotten a box from them yet and I'm thinking oh my gosh like then I get the uh, thing from them saying that oh my, my box is going to be late and I'm a first time customer with this company now mind you. I had absolutely Look, I don't know how you see it, but when you get a new customer to me, look, you're, I always treat my customers, and I had customers, I used to design jewelry, I used to do interior design, um, I take my customers, my regular customers very serious, but if you get a new customer, you're not going to just dump on them, you, you give them the same treatment you give your old, your regular customers, because you want them to come back, right? Am I right? Am I right? I think I'm right. But no, not from this company. So then I get my box literally after my birthday, which is May 28th, at the end of the month. And then there's only four products in it, which they never sent me a thing saying, we're going to ship it out with four. I'm sorry. They did say it will be late because, and that was already after I should have had the box. So then I write them a letter explaining that not only did they charge me for April, or I called them first and I never got the box I tell them you send me the box out and then literally the next day I get the email saying oh your micellar water is on its way we're so sorry we didn't put it in your box and so I sent, called them I sent them an email and I responded to one of their emails because I had heard in the past that they did not have the best customer service and whoa was that person right because they sent me an email back that I'm not going to lie. The tone of it came across as a little bit snotty. And I had the visa statement to prove that they charged me for April and they denied that they charged me for April. And I was like, look. You want to steal my $10? It is only going to cause your comp company detriment. You go ahead and obviously you need it more than I do. But, with that said, I am an extremely forgiving person and that is exactly how I am. I literally have like had people do me wrong, do be do, wrong, 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 wrong. And they are still friends of mine today because I choose to forgive and let it go, so I thought I'm going to give them a chance and let them make it up to me. But let's just see if they accomplish that with this box. Now I must say they got it together and got it out right away. I 
do think I should have been one of the first ones to get it because of the fact that I waited so long and that I never got my April box, but we're going to let that go. Now, let's just see. This is how my box looks when you open it. It's, I'm not going to lie, a little bit messy. It's kind of shoved down in there. It's not laying on the top. Which doesn't like make me feel warm and fuzzy all over. So, let's just straighten out the little info card. <sighs> Here is the little Ricky's Cult Crushes card. And these are the items on the card if you guys want to stop and look. But on with the show. I'm sure you've probably seen five unboxings already. Here is Divine Collections Eye Patches. This is gold. These are foil tissue patches. Extra firmness on your eyes. That's all it says. Plus collagen. I am not going to read this absolutely extraordinarily small writing on here because I don't have my glasses and you get a shape up face mask and also an even out face mask. So to me, this is one item because that's how they do it in Ipsy. They'll send you a couple masks and it accounts for one item. So to me, this is just one item, not three. This, I have to say, I am excited about because my daughter and my son deal with acne extremely bad, but I think most of America is dealing with it now that they're spraying us with those lovely chemtrails and putting all that crap in our food. But, um, I love Muriad. I have to tell you, I got Muriad, Muriad once when I used to get the Fab Fit Fun boxes and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm 52. I do not need Myriad product. Like, I just didn't think. Well, I repent. It ended up being one of my favorite products because I deal with, because of my illness. Oh, and there it goes flying across the room. Oh, am I even going to be able to find it, people? Okay. I can't find it. So, long story short, I get these ac acne and cystic acne now, which is absolutely from the pit, if you know what I mean. And now that I have lupus. And so I put that Murad stuff on it and boy, it just deals with it right away. And I cannot tell you, my daughter is going to be one of arm wrestling me for this Murad wash tonight and I may have to get a back rub out of that and do a little swapping. So, but that's okay. I will take what I can get from that. And the next thing we see, so I'm really happy about that and I'm truly, truly grateful. The next thing I see is a little eyeshadow pan. It's pressed shadow by Suva Beauty. We thought it was Juvia at first when we saw the VA and um, I do have a couple, a few little Juvia single pans which I know are super hard to get that I want and a lot on eBay that are going to be in some of my future giveaways which I'm pretty excited about but I absolutely think that's a beautiful color. I do think that's a gorgeous color. Um... The only thing about it is it is just not, I, I, I probably have 10 with the palettes that I have and the eyeshadows that I have, I probably have 10 of this exact color or some very close similar shade of it. So I'm not going to swatch it. It's coppery. I tend to, if I am going to go with a copper color or even relatively in that tone, it has to be a matte on me or it just does not look good on my skin tone. 
So this will most likely go into a giveaway in the future. Although I love this, I do wish that Ricky's would have given several color choices instead of the same color for everybody. But nonetheless, I think this is a great product. So, so far, honestly, I, I the masks, I, I have a lot of sheet masks. And the problem with lupus is it affects your memory. And I take my makeup off and then I put all of my skincare on and then I forget to put a mask on. So I have tons of them, but I do not hate these and I'm not mad about it. So I do think that these are great. I do think that this is great and I'm not mad about it, but it's just not my color. The Mur Murad, you know, the one that went flying a minute ago, it's down on the floor. Love it, love it, love it. And, um, the next thing is Hair Affinity Vitamins. I think this is an absolutely adorable bottle. I wish, let me see if I have some glasses close by here, you guys, because I will tell you, a, let me tell you something about this. I'm going to roll back here really quick. You can see my messy room behind me. Oh, goodness. Where are my glasses? Okay. Here we go. Go. I'm sorry I should have been more prepared but I wasn't thinking I was gonna read so here's my lovely specs that are really filthy Wow I hope you can't pick up all of that mess that's on my lenses because it's like I'm seeing through a cloud because they've been sitting in my drawer and they're pretty darn dirty As a matter of fact <laughs> I may not be able to read because they're so dirty how sad is that but here we go little better. The ingredients are vitamin A, which is retinol palmitate, vitamin C, which is ascorbic acid. Now let me give you a little bit of info, people. Because of my illness, I've had to learn a lot about vitamins. I've had to learn a lot about um, taking care of your health and what I put in my body because what lupus is is your immune system shuts down and these little fighter guys your little immune system warrior dudes that attack every foreign thing that comes into your body go haywire and they're like Zzz, Zzz. and then they see the little foreign dudes come in and they're like hey who are you oh like you're new new kid on the block and they're like yeah I came to kill you and they're like oh okay you can stay and then the good guy comes up over here and they're like hi I'm like true vitamin C I'm true healthy objects and then they go oh boom I'm gonna kill you and they eat it up so instead of attacking the one that has come to kill me, they attack the good ones. Was that not... I mean, look. I'm no doctor. But that was deep. And that was like, wow. I know that analogy just maybe just was like just too analytical for you, but I'm going to try to break it down next time in a way that you can relate to. But... Ascorbic acid is a man-made vitamin C. It is literally not anything that adds to your body. It is all chemical vitamin C. I learned that from Dr. Joshua Axe by doing his detox program and studying buku hours about health and what you put in your body. So... Gosh, I'm so nimble. I am just, ooh, those butterfingers. They tried to get away, but I just caught it because I have lightning fast hands. Just snatched it right out of the sky. So, I will not be putting these in my body because I only put food-based vitamins in my body now. Because of the fact that it is just adding more toxins to your body. And look, if you're really interested to find out more about that, just my P.O. box is going to be down below. Send me a note and I'd be glad to fax 
send you or mail you any kind of information of the truth about vitamins and what you're putting in your body. It's very important, people, that you put real vitamins in your body. And God designed it that we put food-based vitamins into our body, or essential oils, things like that, that are pure and true and not chemical-based. So these, gosh, I don't... Well, and my lightning fast hands just did not work that time. Wow. Wow. Man. I'm really concerned about that. I'm usually really good. And, I mean, is Tony Stark going to kick me out of, like, the, you know, the squad now? Because they were really considering me because of all my skills to be, like, one of their next warriors. But, okay. Maybe not. Maybe next week, huh? We'll see. But I don't know if I would want to give these, but if anybody was like, oh, I'll take them, then you just drop me a note and you can have them. But in good conscience, I wouldn't want to give them to somebody because I'm literally sewing junk. Next thing is Golsha Ultimate Rose Water. And again, here's another thing I, I'm very... I, I have to be mindful about what I even put on my skin. Most of my skin care is even all organic and um, aloe based or I even have, I literally have hordes of aloe vera growing on my property. I cut the leaves right off and I put it straight on my face and I'm telling you there isn't any product that I've ever paid big bucks for that works better than straight up aloe vera from my plant. And many of you don't know, you can just put it, you could just clean that leaf off and put it right into your blender and you could eat that and it is really, really good for you. It's just so good for your skin, for everything. But this, let me put my handy dandy specs back on. This is Damascena Witch's Rose Flower Water. Leuconostock, radish root, ferment, filtrate, citronellol, geranianol from natural rosa flower oil. So this, and it's made in Italy and France, and let me tell you, they do not allow the things there that we allow here in the U.S. The U.S. just really would prefer that we all drop dead tomorrow, and that's just the bottom truth. That's why they're chemtrailing us and doing all the things they do. I'm sorry, I just won't stop talking about this stuff in my videos because it's something that I'm passionate about and I want people to wake up to the times and the era we live in. But this looks like it's really good stuff and I am pretty darn excited about this. I am going to look up that one word which I did not know what it was and that's the um, Leuconostock. From what I can read on this, these are all natural, comes from all natural, and over there, they are very, everything's organic, and I mean, they don't chemical everything they have there. So, I'm actually pretty excited about this. So, that is the box, folks. That is everything. Now, let's just see if I'm remembering it. Oh, we got the Murad. We got the rose water. We got the vitamins. We got one thing of makeup, which I would really love to have a little bit more makeup in my box. And then we got the face mask. So that's one, two, three, four, five items. One, two, three, four, five See, they have it as six because they consider these, oh, there they go down into the twilight zone of my floor. These, they consider this one separate item, which I think that's pushing it a little bit, Ricky's, but, um, I don't hate this box, but I'm not like, oh my gosh, it's so worth $14 because... I guarantee you I could win these on eBay for like a buck each. I, I, I just know that I, I know I could do better than the 14 bucks for these items. I'm sorry. I know I can. 
someone is going to get this box and they're going to put it on eBay and I could probably win it for like $7, including the shipping, because it's not a box that, wow, that's so cool. But, I don't hate it. Am I going to give them another chance and stay another month? I'm still undecided. I think I'm going to give them one more month and if they don't live up to the you know to what I'm hoping for then I'm gonna have to say goodbye farewell so long to Ricky's cult but right now I'm just gonna give these products a try and maybe also do a future video about the rose water and tell you guys if this is really good because I'm a research gal and I definitely do my research, so I'll let you know, but the vitamins, vitamins, the vitamins, mmm, the vitamins, no, no, no. So, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and my P.O. box is going to be down below. Please, you guys, give me a thumbs up. I am a brand new little baby on YouTube. I would really, really appreciate it. I try my hardest to support the people who support me and to watch your videos. I'm, I'm not doing as great as I would love to be doing because of my health, but I promise you, promise you, I'm going to pop in on your channels and support back. If you guys could, if you guys like my content and like my videos, please tell me so I know. And if, if you want, if you want to see me do try-ons or anything like that, let me know. I mean, I'm game. I'm up for anything. As long as it glorifies the Lord, I'm up for it. So, if you want to shoot me a note, card, hello, tell me your story. I would love to have some pen pals because, again, getting something in the mail is, like, amazing to me. I will go ahead and tell you. My address is 30141 Antelope Road, Suite D746, Menifee, California, 92584. I love and appreciate you guys. I really, I, I'm, I can't even tell you how much I take so seriously that you take your time to watch me on YouTube. I, I mean that from the bottom of my heart. And I pray for each and every one of you. And I just really, really thank you for coming back and watching my videos. God bless you and keep you safe in this cray cray world we live in. And I will see you soon. Bye.